okay guys so let me start with our first tutorial here is my code and the code is meant to find out the duplicate character in any string so we might have question like this write a program to find a duplicate character in any string so what we have to do is we have to write an algorithm which will find and duplicate character in the given string so here is the code and uh, I would like to tell you that this is not the only solution for this question there may be different kind of solution it's up to you which kind of solution what is your approach to what the problem is so here is the solution I'll give you two code and I'll explain both so this is the first one in this all the logic is only in these few lines other things are just for the just to run the code so what we are doing here is we are taking an input and a string to our method and uh, we are putting it into a char array and we will take each character one by one to care C and what we are doing here is we are checking that index of that character what is the index of the character with the what is the last index of the character means what we are doing is we are checking that if the index of the character is equal to the last index of the character means the index of the character the current index of the character is it equal to the last occurrence of the character of the same character if it is equal means we can say that there is no other the same string is not present in our string the same character is not present in our string so we can assure that there is no repetition of the particular character in this string so let's run this code for the input for this input for this input what will happen is at the first time when a when a is come to in place of care c what will happen is what is the index in the, in this line will calculate what is the index of c means what is the index of a right what is the index of a here the index of a is 0 then it will look for the what is the last index of a in that particular string so it will look is it a yes what is the index of this it is 0 right so is it a no is it a no 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 so last index is 0 and the present in current index is also 0 both are equal yes this is equal so there is no repetition of a so it will look for the next one the next one is b the current index of index of b is 1 index of b is 1 and what is the last index of b so it will look from character 0 the first character is it b no is it b yeah so then last index of b is currently 1 then it look further is it b no is it b no this one yes and what is the index of it this 4 so it will vanish and then new last index of b is 4 so it will check if 1 is equal to equal to 4 no this is wrong right so it will return false for this one our code should stop here but unfortunately this code it won't stop here it will look for the c also then d also then at last it will return that there is duplicate character present in our string that's it so in in terms of the complexity what will be the complexity of that uh, algorithm so the complexity reside here this code this for loop will run for n time how many character how many character present in that string it will run for this many times and this this method the last index of will also run for the end time each time it will check the particular character is present in that string or not so the complexity is the for each occurrence of 
one character it will it will scan the whole character again so it will it is like n cross n that is means in in terms of bigger notation we can say that complexity will go to n square so this is the, our first solution and uh, i will give you another solution and we'll see which one is better in terms of the complexity in terms of the space also space complexity also and the performance okay guys thank you for watching this video